At the start of the movie, some animal traffickers barge inside a zoo and covertly steal a lion cub away. They then load the poor animal in an airplane and take off. Elsewhere, we're introduced to the protagonist of the movie, a 25-year-old girl named Elma. She's an aspiring pianist and an avid animal lover. One day, she heads to an island for a vacation, and it turns out that her late grandfather owned the island. Elma was adopted by the old man as a young child, and she considered him her grandpa. Now, after her grandpa's death, she has inherited the island. When she arrives, she's welcomed by Uncle Joe, her caretaker. There's a lovely hut on the island, which is pretty comfortable and tranquil for a vacation. That night, Elma goes through her grandpa's videos and becomes emotional. In one of the videos, he mentions that a wolf named Snow suddenly appeared on the island a few years ago, and they had become good friends. He then tells Elma to find the wolf and befriend her, as she can make wonderful company. That night, the plane carrying the lion cub faces extremely bad weather and crashes on the island. A terrified Elma ventures outside her house to inspect, but since the island is very large, she doesn't see anything. The next morning, a couple of guys, Charles and Ellie, arrive at the island and set traps to capture snow. It turns out that they own a wolf park and are desperate to take the intelligent wolf along with them. After a while, Snow eventually gets caught, but using her intelligence, she breaks free before the captors arrive. She then swims all the way to the other part of the island, where she runs into Elma. Initially, the latter is scared, but when she remembers her grandpa telling her about Snow's friendliness, she calms down. Then, Elma helps Snow out of the remaining net trap and sets her free. After a while, Elma arrives at the site where the plane has crashed. Fortunately, the lion cub is unharmed due to the cushioned landing on a bird's nest. Just then, the mother bird arrives and drops him, causing him to land directly on Elma's arms. Seeing the terrified little animal, she takes him home. At the same time, Snow also arrives there with her small cub. Elma is taken aback that she has three wild animals in her house. She immediately calls Uncle Joe, and the latter tells her to inform the authorities, as the animals can be dangerous. He also informs her that a couple of park rangers will be visiting her shortly to learn about the lion's whereabouts. In the next scene, the rangers arrive on a boat, but Elma decides to hide the animals as she knows how cruel the zookeepers are. She lies to the rangers that she hasn't seen any animals nearby and returns home. Surprisingly, she notices Snow feeding both her cub and the lion together. This makes Elma relieved as she now doesn't have to take care of the animal's diet. With days passing by, the two cubs become very close to one another, and Elma also loves them like her own children. She names the wolf Jack and the lion Dreamer. On the other hand, Uncle Joe is oblivious that the animals are still residing on the island. In this way, a few months pass by and the cubs have now become bigger. Alma takes them for evening walks and shows them her favorite spot, which she and her grandfather used to often visit. At night, Snow feeds the two middle-sized cubs and quenches their appetite. Unfortunately, one day while Alma is out to audition at a music label, the wolf rangers again arrive at the island, and this time they successfully capture Snow and take her away. On the other hand, Elma gets selected for the job and becomes ecstatic. However, when she returns to the island, her happiness quickly turns into horror when she finds her house completely trashed by the animals. They've done so due to extreme hunger. Worried, Elma searches the whole place for snow, but doesn't find her. Hence, left with no options, she is forced to prepare food for the cubs. And now, because of the added responsibility, she has to quit her newly acquired job. One morning, Uncle Joe arrives to check on Elma, and when he finds the animals still there, he becomes furious. He orders they immediately be transported to a zoo, but Elma makes him understand that it was her grandfather's wish to be close with animals. She also mentions about the horrors the cubs will suffer if they're sent to a zoo. Hearing all this, Uncle Joe finally becomes convinced, and he hugs Elma with affection. Now, most of their time is spent in feeding the cubs and providing them with the best possible care. 
Although Alma doesn't have a job and gets very little time to play the piano, she is very happy with her life. She loves her new friends a lot, and in return, they also love her. In this way, a year passes by, and now the cubs have become adults. Uncle Joe brings meat and other essentials from the city for the animals, but he's too scared to go near them. He tells his niece on several occasions that the animals are not safe now that they are adults. But Alma doesn't want to give them up. She has made up her mind that she will live on this island forever, caring for the two animals. One normal day, a mother and daughter come near the island in a boat. The little girl spots some beautiful flowers and requests her mother to take her there. Meanwhile, Jack notices the new humans and immediately tries to approach them out of curiosity. Alma, who is also nearby, senses the danger and tries to stop Jack, but ends up slipping and hitting her head on a stone. This knocks her out on the spot. At the same time, the mother and daughter leave the island without spotting the animals. Shortly after, Jack and Dreamer approach Alma and try their best to wake her up, but to no avail. They howl for several hours, possibly calling for help, but no one arrives. Soon, the day turns into night and the animals sit near Alma to keep her warm. The next morning, Uncle Joe tries calling Alma several times, but when she doesn't pick up, he senses something wrong and heads to the island to inspect. Unfortunately, he deduces that the animals have injured her and immediately calls animal control. But after a while, when he finds her lying unconscious and the animals with her, Joe regrets his actions. In the next scene, Alma is taken to a hospital where the doctor informs Uncle Joe that if the animals hadn't kept Alma warm at night, she most likely would have died due to hypothermia. On the other hand, the animal control presents Jack to Ellie and Charles. After a bit of checking, they learn that Jack is none other than Snow's own offspring. Meanwhile, the lion, Dreamer, is handed over to a zoo, which is run by Alan and his young son, Rafa. Alan is a cruel man who often punishes his animals, but little Rafa is kind-hearted and sweet. He immediately starts a bond with Dreamer and regularly pays him visits to calm him down. However, just after a few days, Dreamer is heavily sedated and made to perform in circuses. The poor lion had lived all his life relaxing around the island, and now the sudden brutality has started to take a toll on him. This makes little Rafa upset, so he always tries his best to make the animal feel happy. Elsewhere, Alma finally wakes up. As soon as she does, she asks Uncle Joe about her pet animals, to which he replies that they're in a safe place. Hearing this, Alma feels relaxed, but still misses them a lot. Hence, once she gets discharged, she goes straight to animal control and learns that Jack has been taken away to a wolf park while Dreamer is confined in a cruel circus. Enraged, Alma screams at one of the officers there, but Joe calms her down and takes her away. Shortly after, she calls Ellie and asks about Jack's well-being. The latter reveals that Jack is doing really great at the park and has already made a lot of friends. Everyone also takes the best care of him. Hearing this, Alma gets somewhat relieved, but still wishes to know about Dreamer. She spends the next few weeks going to every circus in the city and asks everyone about Dreamer, but gets no information. In the meantime, Alan has started earning a lot of money from Dreamer's appearance in his circus, and the lion quickly becomes a star. However, no one knows his real name, and they simply call him Star Lion. One day, Dreamer's circus crew passes by the wolf park, and Jack immediately recognizes his best friend. Wasting no time, he breaks free from the captivity, and later, when Ellie comes to inspect, he is taken aback. He quickly deduces that Jack is a very intelligent wolf and that he is searching for something. Soon enough, Jack reaches the place where Dreamer is being held and cleverly frees him from the cage. The two are delighted to reunite after months and play around for a while. Furious, Alan takes out his tranquilizer gun and prepares to go after the lion. His son, Rafa, tries to convince him to leave the poor lion alone, but the greedy Alan does not listen. Hence, fearing that something bad may happen, 
Rafa also decides to join Alan in his search. In the next scene, Ellie finds out through his friend that Jack has escaped from captivity to go after his friend Lion. Now that both the animals are missing, there's a high alert in the city. That evening, Ellie goes to the island and informs Elma about everything. He also tells her that the two animals are on the loose, so the authorities and hunters are after them. When Elma becomes worried, Ellie reveals that they had placed a tracker inside Jack. Now, due to poor connection, their location is unknown. However, the animals were last seen near a forest. With this, the two decide to go look for Jack and Dreamer. On the other hand, the animals are wandering through the city, causing the residents to remain locked inside their homes. In one instance, they even enter a department store in search of food. Because of this, the police give the residents permission to shoot the animals on sight. A few hours later, they again reach the forest, where they run into Alan and Rafa. The greedy circus owner tries to shoot Dreamer, but Jack gets in the way and takes the hit. Because the tranquilizer was meant for a lion, Jack immediately passes out. This worries little Rafa, and after the lion runs away, he immediately heads over to Jack and removes the dart and his tracking device. He also feeds him a pill to reduce the effects of the tranquilizer. After a while, the father-son duo heads to a bar where they're approached by Ellie and Alma. It turns out that the two arrived there following the tracker. Alan, who is oblivious about the tracker, mentions that he doesn't have it and sends them away. However, Rafa pretends to go on a bathroom break and tells Ellie and Elma everything. He also takes them to the forest, where they finally meet Dreamer. They then follow the lion and reach a shed, where Jack is resting. Fortunately, he's already gained consciousness due to Rafa's quick thinking. Just then, the police arrive at the scene, prompting Elma to lead the animals through a secret way. Now, only the stream of water is keeping them from her private island. She desperately wants to get there, as even the police have no jurisdiction on the island. Unfortunately, there's no boat, so everyone has to swim all the way. Jack, being a wolf, immediately dives in, but Dreamer hesitates as he's scared of water. Alma tries her best to convince him, but Dreamer simply turns around and heads back inside the jungle. And shortly after, as a distraught Alma and Jack are swimming their way to the island, a gunshot is heard, indicating that Dreamer is no more. She reaches the island and begins to cry profusely, but suddenly Dreamer arrives there. It turns out that he went back inside the jungle just to distract the policeman. Seeing him back, everyone becomes happy. In the last scene, Alma performs a piano concert for some people, who've come all the way to her island on a boat. Dreamer and Jack are also present there, living as one happy family. The movie ends as Alma shares the story of her pets to the crowd, making everyone emotional and happy.